Thank you, President Grimson. It's really a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, as, as they both mentioned, we went to Marrakesh last year following the U.S. elections, and, and we were quite concerned, as you all were, as to what the U.S. government was going to do uh, around the Paris Accord, and, and more importantly to us, day-to-day um, -day what was going to happen in our country, in the EPA, with, with our beloved uh, precious resources. And we have, we have indeed seen some of the, the calamitous gestures that we were fearful of. But we went there thinking we weren't going to be despondent. We were actually prepared to take some measures and galvanize the collective that showed up under a banner of action, like Andy said. And, and action is what we took. I wonder if I can just read to you a little bit of the roadmap that may, means so much to me. And I hope all of you get to read it very soon. I, I'm sure we'll be distributing it to you. The old model of relying primarily on states, governments, and industrial corporations is no longer sufficient. We need a new model where everyone can become a doer, an agent of change. This is what, this is what democratization of climate change is all about. We need a model that points the way, transcends boundaries, and invites all to join the journey. The technologies and nature-based solutions needed to create clean ed energy economies already exist. You all have seen that here demonstrated in this very country. We simply have to make the roadmap available to everyone and demonstrate that taking new paths will lead to enhanced and shared prosperity, abundance of opportunities, and a safer world. For us to succeed, we must make this a movement that is powered by the people, serving the interests of everyone. Now here's what's most important to us. We recognize the impact of our actions on all people across the planet and the disproportionate impact of climate change on the world's most vulnerable populations. We wanted to make sure that we said that because we wanted to take personal responsibility for the actions that, that had come before us, but also to recognize that the change needs to start with each of us. Out of Marrakesh, this great social entrepreneur, Peter Seligman, pivoted from his organization and decided to create a new organization that I think he should talk to us about because it's all about empowering those of us who are stewards of the planet with these technologies and capacities that'll help us each to take the kind of action that we need in order to continue to live on this planet.